And I still believe in the Northeast Asian multilateral security cooperation regime is still viable option for all of us. Now there are two contending paradigms in the region. One paradigm is a collective defense system, which is based on alliance. United States has been pushing for this idea. On the other hand, the China and President Xi Jinping have been proposing community of common destiny, or put it differently, multilateral security cooperation regime uh, by pursuing cooperative security, common security, comprehensive security, and sustainable security. At present, those two paradigms seem to be conflicting each other. But ultimate destination we should go for is multilateral security cooperation regime, simply because by relying on alliance presupposes the existence of a common threat and common enemies. If there are common enemy and common threat, then we are obliged to pursue the diplomacy of taking side. And also it will lead to the perpetual insecurity in the region. Therefore, we should, we should come up with a kinds of collective effort to make a transformation of security architecture in the region from alliance system or collective defense system into collective security system. And I believe, you know, President Noh Myon has a proposed Northeast Asian Cooperation Initiative, and also President Park Geun-hye has a proposed Northeast Asian Peace and Cooperation Initiative. And those two proposals, in fact, based on the concept of multilateral security cooperation regime, therefore, South Korea can still play a very important role in pushing for that idea. And another way of really reviving the issue is to go back to six-party talks and implement the September 19th joint, state, the joint statement. Uh, the September 19th joint statement has a provision saying that uh, all parties concerned, meaning North, South Korea, the US, China, Japan, Russia, would work hard to create a multilateral security cooperation regime. Therefore, another way is going back to six-party talk and make six-party talk su successful. In that way, we can resolve the North Korea nuclear issue. At the same time, we can revive multilateral security cooperation regime. There was a very good example in 2007 when President Rong Wee Hyun attended, uh, I think that was a, in the fifth uh, Jeju Forum. At the time, it was still called the Jeju Peace Forum. And during the fifth Jeju Peace Forum, we adopted the Jeju Peace Declaration. And in that declaration, we proposed Jeju process. That means what? Jeju would become the hub to generate ideas on multilateral security cooperation regime. At the same time, Jeju Forum can serve as a kind of you know, incubator for confidence building measures in Northeast Asia. But uh, the Lee Myung Bak government and Park Geun-hye government did not succeed in that idea. They simply discarded that idea. Uh, that is why they didn't work it out. Therefore, likewise, if the central government pays attention to this forum, then they can really propose some viable and workable ideas for multilateral security cooperation at the <coughs> Jeju Forum. And then there can be official policy of the South Korean government, and South Korean government can you know, spread words on that idea and try to const construct the policy networks to implement that idea. But that didn't happen. That is why I've been urging that the President of the Republic of Korea should attend the Jeju Forum in that way some ideas which were raised in the Jeju Forum can be officially adopted by the central government in Seoul. As a matter of fact, when we talked about Jeju Island of World Peace, we had four items in mind. The first item is promotion of understanding of peace by activating Jeju Peace Center. Jeju Peace Center as a site for the exhibition of peaceful activities. Okay. And also, uh, Jeju, you know, Jeju as an island, the world, uh, world island, the Jeju island, world peace has a second component 
that is research, that the Peace Research Institute was created to carry out relevant research regarding the peace. And third one is Jeju as a hub for exchange of ideas and policies among experts and policy makers. That is, in, in fact, Jeju Forum is an important part of that effort. In other words, Jeju becoming a you know, meeting place where policy makers, experts, you know, civil society leaders come to and then discuss new ideas and spread. There is a third, you know, in other words, Jeju as a con you know, convention site for the peace-related conferences. And fourth is uh, Jeju as island of world peace by focusing on education. And therefore, Jeju Peace Institute was supposed to cooperate with April 3rd, Sasam uh, Peace Park and try to introduce systematic education uh, of peace, particularly among youth, young generations. Therefore, peace education is very important and integral part of Jeju as an island of world peace. But I see no progress in that area. Therefore, Jeju Peace Institute and Jeju Provincial Government and April 3rd, Sasam in a peace park, they should work together to make Jeju as the most attractive and pioneering center of peace education in Korea. In order to promote peace, you got the new ideas, new paradigms. Where does, where do those ideas and paradigms come? They come from the think tank. Therefore, the think tank's role should be strengthened. But sadly, the present state of Jeju Peace Institute is so dismal and it has not played the role of meaningful think tank. Therefore, I would argue that in order to have a more role and function with regard to promotion of peace and related ideas and policies, the Jeju Peace Institute should be further strengthened. More researchers should be hired and more international networks should be made. In that way, Jeju Peace Institute can play a central role in promoting and sharing new ideas on peace creation and peace sharing. Yeah, I started Jeju Peace Forum. You know, I was a convener of Jeju Peace Forum in cooperation with then Governor Wu Wen Min. And yeah, we cannot deny that the Jeju Forum has grown in quantity and in quality. But, but as having seen the peace, you know, the Jeju Forum yesterday and today, there seems too many tourists. Okay, I can I do not really, you know, underestimate the role of a tourist. But uh, this forum must be very elite in a forum. Really, policymakers and experts they sit together and come together, sit together and generate a new idea and peace and etc. Therefore, I would suggest that this forum should be more focused. Okay, uh, is choose and focus approach. In Korean, what is called Sontekwa Jipjung. Okay. And in that way, that now we have President, uh, Governor Won Hiryong has identified four areas. First is peace, particularly focusing on nuclear issues. And second is economic growth, okay, and innovative and creative economy. And third one is environment. Fourth one is culture. But it is better to really focus on those four areas, and within four areas, you know, the organizing committee should come up with a more focused agenda so that it can create a more meaningful, impact-driven you know, ideas and outcomes. Therefore, there are kinds of realignment of Jeju Forum. You cannot continue Jeju Forum as it is. 